For the previous two decades, Chelsea has had a legitimate claim to the title of best club in London, occasionally greatest club in England, and twice best club in Europe. The Blues are not even West London's top team in terms of Premier League standings. That's a shame. Although Chelsea have secured a marginal victory over Crystal Palace, that doesn't change the fact that they have been at their worst. So what the hell is happening to Chelsea? Come with us to have a look in the hell. Transfer market blunder. Despite spending a record $278.4 million on eight new players, Chelsea has not produced the results they had hoped for this season. This was the most any club has ever spent in a single transfer window. With the additions of defender Benoit Badiashile, midfielder Andre Santos, and forward David Datro Fofana in January, the sum increased to 340 million pounds. Hold on, hold on. I know you must be thinking about Joao Felix. Yes, Chelsea loaned him to Stamford Bridge for 11 million dollars. That's not all. Shakhtar Donetsk star Mikhailo Mudrik's deal was also sealed for a whopping $100 million. That's insane for someone whose market value is $43 million. Wait, it's not over yet. Christopher Nkunku for $63 million is also a target. Has Chelsea gone mad? It will very be soon that they will be under debt just like Barcelona. <laughs> Roman Abramovich's exit. Due to Roman Abramovich's sanctions by the UK government following Russia's invasion of Ukraine, all of Chelsea's accounts were shut late in the 2021-22 season. The club was later taken over by the ownership group headed by Todd Bowley in May of this year, albeit the takeover was not straightforward. After various reports that the owner and manager Thomas Tuchel had disagreements about several signings, the tension behind the scenes reached unprecedented heights. It's important to note that Tuchel was fired by the team after the current season got off to a rough start. Not a proper starting eleven. It seems that Mr. Potter is still unsure of what his best side is at Stamford Bridge, despite having been in the position since mid-September after taking over from Thomas Tuchel. The Blues keep paying a high price for that inconsistency. Since he joined Chelsea, a wide range of players in a number of different positions have come and gone from the starting lineup. His lack of a true identity and thought process will only serve to increase confusion and annoyance with his team choices. A solid starting lineup on which Potter can stake his reputation must include a few capable backups who can be brought in as needed. Only he knows what that is. Injury is injuring Chelsea. Chelsea is one injured defender away from having a strong enough injury list to contend for a Champions League spot. <laughs> Just kidding. Potter could only watch in dismay as the Blues lost two more regulars on top of Mason Mount, who was pulled from the matchday squad after suffering a leg injury in training, as the team was already down seven first team players ahead of the Premier League matchup against champions Manchester City. Wait, wait. Christian Pulisic and Raheem Sterling both suffered injuries in the first 22 minutes of the game at Stamford Bridge, raising Chelsea's total number of injured players to 10. Sacking of managers. Chelsea has been motivated by short-term success since Russian billionaire Roman Abramovich took possession in 2003, as evidenced by the club hiring 17 different managers in the last 20 years. Any manager who experiences a run of bad results is liable to be fired. Although this approach has been successful in the past, it currently appears to be having serious problems. Every manager being given money during the transfer window and then getting fired. Just consider what Tuchel and Lampard experienced in the past. Every manager enjoys implementing their strategy, so denying them time to use their new hires is just a waste. Every new manager at Chelsea must make do with the players they are handed, and this rarely succeeds over the long haul. It's high time that Chelsea needs to bounce back and to secure at least the Champions League place in the next season. Can Chelsea bounce back or is this the first stage of their demolition? Do let us know in the comments. Till then, keep footballing.